Welcome to Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. Today's program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table. Now here's chef and host of the show, Abby J, to introduce her special guest for today's show. Welcome to Field of Fork, and it's the holiday season, and I'm so excited today with the new edition of the Ingalls Table Magazine, and today I have Michael McMurtry here representing the table. Welcome. Uh, hi, nice to see you, Abby J. Oh, I know, I know, and we've got so much in store for you. This, uh, first of all, this this turned out really great. Thank you. It was, yeah, it's very pretty. There's tons of great recipes. Oh, there's there. tons yeah. of recipes, tips. They even show you how to do the turkey, all the turkey, so you don't blow up in the kitchen, right? <laughs> there's some helpful hints in there, yeah. To yeah. yeah. Helpful it, hints and, and Leah's uh, tips on potassium and yeah. all the things you need for the very holiday festive. season. Yeah. yeah. But uh, one thing I wanted to point out is that uh, the front cover has this beautiful wreath. And, uh, you know, anybody can get creative with your kids in but the that's kitchen. That's a lot of work right there. That's a lot of work. But yeah. look, I took the work out of it. If you wanted just to make these little cute bows and put on top of a salad. Like little wreaths. Yeah, they're little they're... caprese wreaths. Exactly. You said it right. <laughs> caprese wreaths. I know. Well, I was born in Italy. <laughs> right. No, I wasn't. You were not. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, a lot of different things, and, and I think you had some spicy nuts. There's so there's tons of. Look at this. Let's have some fun in the kitchen. I bet you. Yeah, and there's even more recipes at Ingalls-Markets.com that are more. There's tons more up there, so go there as well. Well, I like the fact that not only that you have all these uh, things that you can have your kids do in the kitchen, you can also, uh, you know, if you don't have the time to, to, you know, play around in the kitchen or spend time in the yeah. kitchen, if you've got a hectic holiday season, you can just go to the Ingalls Bakery and pick up cookies. They've got cookies of every cupcakes. kind, cupcakes. Yeah. Uh, I mean, they've got those pumpkin rolls. They've I mean. Got tons. Yeah. Everything that you can imagine, but this uh, Ingalls Table magazine is free and you can pick it up at the deli at your local Ingalls. And today, Michael, what are we doing? Well, this one's not even in the in the Ingalls table. No, it's but an exclusive just for you, Abby J. Oh. And you're, yeah. yeah. So this is, I, I mean, cayenne pepper. So yeah, there's a little great. cayenne. Um, everyone has their own recipe for Brussels sprouts. This happens to be mine. I call them Christmas Brussels sprouts because they're green and red. Absolutely. So what I've done is I got a pound of Brussels sprouts. I've halved them already. If there's any that are too big, go ahead and quarter them. That's that's it. They cook a you could bit. quarter them if you want anyway, but I, I like them halved. And then um, I've got a couple tablespoons of olive oil heating up here on medium high heat. And we're gonna take the entire batch and just drop them right in. You can hear them start to sizzle. And then we're not going to touch them. Well, we're Brussels gonna, sprouts are so good for you. Yeah, and you want them to caramelize a little bit. So we're going to put the lid on, which will help with the cooking. But then we're also going to get the heat on the bottom to caramelize. And then while that's doing that, we're going to take this saucepan and we're going to add um, half a cup of maple syrup. We're going to add just a splash of balsamic vinegar to give a little tartness. Mm -hmm. I've got a mixture here of some smoked paprika and cayenne. Cayenne is going to be to your taste. I'm putting in about an eighth of a tablespoon, eighth of a teaspoon. Just to give it some kick. Yeah. Bite. Yeah. And that'll give you a little bite at the end. If you want more, go for it. You know, I even put it in my lasagna and somebody last night said, what did you have in the bow tie lasagna? Yeah. I it love the kick. a little kick. more depth and a little more interesting. Right. And then um, I've got a rounded uh, half cup of, or cup cup of cranberries and we're just going to mix that all together and put that over the heat. We'll put this over, is it the front one here? There we go. Got it. We'll put that over the heat. Now once uh, the cranberries start popping, then we'll know that the Brussels sprouts are ready. Okay. okay? Well we're going to get this going and we'll be right back. Right as your um, cranberry mixture is getting to boiling and mm -hmm. the, the cranberries are starting to pop, I like to do uh, some orange zest. So I just Take an orange and. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, just zest them in. Yeah, you don't want to do it too soon because sometimes orange zest can get a little bitter if you put it in too soon. It's too strong. Yeah, so 
Just go around your orange. I use this rasp, or, uh, which is great, microplane, which saves me for everything. I use this for ginger, I use it for, you can use it for Parmesan cheese. Absolutely. So do that, and then to give it a little more kick of orange, let's just put the juice in there as well. Nice. <clears throat> All right. Zest it. Just go, whoops, that's a there juicy one. Just squeeze that in there, get the other half. And that does smell like Christmas, so okay. yeah, it's really nice. I can't wait to make this, Michael. This is so good. Yeah. All right, so just just swirl that around, and it I can hear the Brussels sprouts. I think they're ready. Okay. So okay. yeah, yeah. Let's, let's go check them. them. Oh yeah. See how we're getting some caramelization. You wow! To, look at those. Now that the now now that our Brussels sprouts have some caramelization on them. We've got our cranberries popped and it's at a boil. Now we're just gonna mix it all together. So I just take the whole pot into the pan. Turn oh, my that. kitchen smells so delicious. And we just stir it around. We can cut the heat. Turn it off, yeah. Just stir it around. How beautiful is that? Michael, you've outdone yourself again. <laughs> Here, I'm gonna show this. Look at that. How beautiful, wonderful. And then to mm. finish it off, like right before you bring it to the table, and I always serve it just serve straight. It from this, right? Yeah, I just take some crushed or whole pistachios and I just sprinkle them on there for some crunch. And that's it. Well, that says Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and you know, I wish you a very happy holiday season, Thank you. Michael. And, and Happy New Year to you. Yeah, too. ho, right. ho, ho, and okay. we'll be right back. Thanks. Oh my gosh, where did you get this? I got it at Ingalls. No, you didn't. Yep, Ingalls. No way. <laughs> I'm telling you, it's the Ingalls Bakery. Okay, fine, don't tell me. You might not know this, but at the Ingalls Bakery, we actually bake things like crusty breads, delicious apple fritters, cakes for any occasions. It's all in the bag. Ingalls, low prices, love the savings. I made them myself. No, you didn't. Welcome back. It's the holiday season, and I'm at one of my favorite places. I'm at Mark of the Potter with the owner, Chad Pack. Welcome to the show. Thank you. Thank you, Abby. I'm glad you guys could be here today. Absolutely. And tell us about some of the offerings for the holidays and, and about your potters. Um, well, for the holiday season, we have a number of ornaments. We have a lot of nice casserole dishes. We have a lot of nice bowls, coffee cups, mugs, a ton of things that are perfect to cook with for gifts, things like that for the holidays. I think it's so important, Chad, that it's the holiday season and during COVID, you know, this was shut down and it's important to support local artisans and especially with the functional pottery that you have here. Yes, definitely, definitely, yes. It was a little hard hit for us during COVID. Um, a lot of the potters were basically trying to make ends meet um, with with everything being shut down. Um, right now, it's a great time to come out and support all of our artists that we have here from the region. Well, I tell you what, I have so many pieces of so many artists here and I use them for baking. This is a good time to bake. Yes, definitely. We have brie bakers, we have apple bakers. We have things you can turn into bakers. It's, it's, it's crazy. I know Debbie Dowdy is one of my friends and, and Matt Henderson and all the other uh, people that are around this region. There's about 35, is that right? Yes, quite a few. Quite a few people, one of a kind, different pieces, uh, they're functional pieces, coffee mugs. I know I have a ton of those. Yes. Okay, so Chad, we're going to go in and see all the offerings, so lead the way. All right, here we go. All right, here we go. So we're inside at Margaret the Potter. And I just found this, and this is a little fish platter. I can serve smoked salmon. Who is who made this? Denise Smith did. She's actually out of Livonia. Livonia, Georgia, and there's just so many functional pieces. What do you have? I have a soup bowl that is uh, one of Rachel Stagger's pieces here. So you have bowls, you have mugs, you have so many things that, you know, candle holders, right? Yes, yes, definitely. So what's the price range on these pieces, Chad? Um, they're usually 
20 30 40 50 dollars so what is this right here oh i don't have my reading glasses on this is uh 110. 110 so one-of-a-kind pieces and this is what you get with these local artisans one-of-a-kind pieces functional pieces and you know they like like you said they have ornaments right yes yes we do Christmas ornaments, we have magnets, we have mugs, we have bowls, cups. You have so many things and we're gonna go wander around a little bit more and we're gonna go visit uh, one of your potters uh, okay. and that's Dustin, right? Yes, yes, Dustin Hogan. Okay, I can't wait to meet him. So let's go see what he can do on the wheel. All right, sounds great. All right. So now we're gonna meet the potter. This is Dustin Hogan. Hi everybody. Tell us a little bit about how you got started, Dustin. Well, originally, uh, I was kind of against the wheel to start with because when you look at a potter who's working, it looks like it just happens for them. So I thought the wheel did all the work, but I had to try a class in pottery in college for the first time, and I figured out quickly that the wheel does absolutely nothing at all for you. And uh, I really liked the physicality of it the ability to work with my hands and move and manipulate an object. And so that drew me to it and I just stuck with it and I've never stopped. Well, you are quite the young entrepreneur with all this pottery. It amazes me to see you work on the wheel. Let's just watch him one more time. Get this, uh, see how his hands, it's all about the hands, right? Very true. Have to have a steady hand it doesn't really require a lot of strength a lot of people think that it does but it's more about understanding how the clay operates and how it moves with your touch thank you Dustin for uh, making it look so he easy here at Mark of the Powder and uh, we all invite you to come on out here this holiday season see all the beautiful pottery he creates like I said I can't wait you can teach me how to make one of these right Let's go. Let's do it. I can't wait. And thank you, Chad. It's time to discover the convenience and time savings of contact-free pickup with Ingalls Curbside. Just visit shop.ingalls-markets.com or download the app. And your Ingalls personal shopper gets to work with specialized training on how to select the freshest items for a pre-scheduled pickup. They'll even text you with updates. You pull up to a designated space and your personal shopper delivers your items right to your vehicle. Fresh, fast, and affordable. It's all in the bag. Ingalls. Low prices. Love the savings. We're back and we're getting in the holiday spirit and you know what? A delicious meal deserves a great mocktail. What I've made today is my ginger basil grapefruit splitzer and we're going to show you how to do this. First of all you need a simple syrup and this is one cup of water with one cup of sugar. You just boil it with one cup of basil and you want to uh, make sure the sugar has dissolved and then after that, uh, after you get it dissolved, you'll uh, take the basil out of this uh, through a sieve and then you'll uh, put it in the refrigerator, let it cool, and then you're ready to go. So what we're gonna do is take one quarter of the basil infused syrup and put it in your pitcher. We squeeze one grapefruit, freshly squeezed. This is so good, it's really tart. And you know, a lot of calories you get with alcohol, you don't need to do that over the holidays. You really just wanna wake up and, you know, uh, if you, really want something fresh and tart and wonderful, this is the thing to make. The next thing is your ginger ale. You'll need 33 ounces of ginger ale. We'll pour that in like so. Uh, hear the fizz, the bubble. After you put in the ginger ale, you wanna just stir this, give it a stir. You'll put it in the glasses like so, fill it up. And we wanna garnish it with some basil and maybe a wedge of the grapefruit. And there you have it, a very nice mocktail to go with any of your delicious holiday meals. Thank you for joining us here on Field of Fort. We want to thank all of our guests, 
Michael McMurtry representing the Ingalls Table, Chadwick Pack, and Dustin Hogan from Mark of the Potter. Make sure you get up there and support all those artisans this holiday season. And thank a farmer and cheers to the season. We are at the Asheville Outlet Mall and we are celebrating 30 years of the most incredible partnership between Ingalls Supermarkets and Mana Food Bank. I'm here uh, representing Mana. Um, I volunteer there a couple times a week and I do it because of all the help they do with, in Western North Carolina, serving 17 counties, helping put food on people's tables. This is a tree that we have done every year for 30 years. We light it, this is Ingle Lights It, and it starts the holiday season and the season of giving. And every year the need continues to grow. So our trees have gotten a little bit bigger and our celebrations have gotten bigger as well. You can come down, you can put a donation in of canned goods and that gets you entered into a $500 uh, gift card drawing for Ingles. So it just represents uh, you know, giving to the community, how you can give back to your community uh, by helping to feed the, the people uh, in your neighbors, actually. The partnership between Manifu Bank and Ingles has resulted in over 12 years of providing 3,956 meals per day, every day, 365 days a year. We're very blessed to have an organization like NANA in our community, and we love being a part of that. Join our commitment to helping our friends and neighbors. Ingalls, we're with you every step of the way. Thanks so much for joining us for today's program. We look forward to having you back next time on Field to Fork Cooking with Abby J. This program is brought to you in part by Ingalls Supermarkets and the Ingalls Table.